do I actually fulfill the eligibility criteria? They would reject me. Are we really selected? I didn't have any planning to enter aviation as a cabin crew. I was overweight. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, hello everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Richita and I am working as a cabin attendant with Indigo Airlines. And this is my story of becoming a cabin crew. Alright, beautiful people, so I would be starting with the time when I actually applied. So back in 2021, I completed my graduation. Around December 2021, I got this information from somebody that Indigo is hiring. This is how it started. I applied. Third week of April, I got a mail from them that uh, they are organizing an interview in Kolkata. And the interview was scheduled on fourth week of April. I didn't have any planning to enter aviation as a cabin crew. When I actually got the invitation for interview, that's when I got serious about, okay, because if I go to the interview, if I am able to crack the interview, then I actually might end up having a job. I directly went to the official page of Indigo Airlines to see that what are the eligibility criteria? Do I actually fulfill the eligibility criteria? To my surprise, there is a certain BMI range that you should be in uh, in order to qualify as a cabin crew. I calculated my body mass index after I weighed myself and clearly I was overweight and I was not falling inside the category for the eligible BMI. I only had seven days in hand. In no way I could reduce my weight so that uh, at least they don't reject me due to my BMI. After two days, there was a good news that the date that they were calling us for interview, it got postponed. And they are calling us after a month now. When I got this mail, I was pretty motivated because I understood this, that now I think that I have some time that I can work on myself and I can actually reduce my weight to some extent so that they can at least you know, consider me. I changed my diet. I started exercising every day. I started working on myself simply. In this uh, 30 days of me working on myself, I only weighed myself once. And uh, because I wanted to see whether my change in diet, my wor me working out, whether they are actually positively giving me any results or not. So I just went to weigh myself once. And when I saw that, yes, there is a significant changes, I started working more efficiently. After that, I didn't weigh myself. I directly went for the interview. In this 30 days, uh, I also talked with my parents. It was not a positive response that came from their end, of course. I had to convince them. However, uh, I would like to mention my younger brother. He was the only one who, on the first instinct, he was like, okay, go and try but I really had to convince my parents because they were not in the favor of me even going for the interview. I think most of us have to convince them for a lot of things because they don't have the uh, knowledge or you know everything that ha that is growing in this world. So you really need to make your parents understand that this is the field, this is the work, this is the, uh, the perks. All of my knowledge, all of my preparation actually began after they postponed the first interview date to the second one. That's when I got 30 days of time and that's when I tried preparing myself to the fullest. There were not a single day that I skipped my desired diet there was not a single day that I stopped praying to God that, you know, at least give me more strength and energy to work hard towards this. And finally comes the day of the interview, the most important day. I woke up pretty early. I reached the location. There were four rounds. Slowly, slowly, I started cracking all the rounds of the interview after the last round all the names of the selected candidates were announced and thankfully and gratefully by the grace of Mahadev my name was there I got selected as a cabin crew with the Indigo Airlines this is my story how I started with zero and I ended up getting selected finally being independent finally being able to 
work towards something. Sometimes it's okay to not know what you want to do in your life. After my graduation, I was not sure what to do in my life and how to do because I wanted to start earning. I wanted to support my family. However, I didn't know what to do. Nothing was actually working out for me. Nothing was really working out for me. I just applied. The day when I'm shooting this video is the day that I've completed one year. So this is my story of transforming myself from being nothing to being something. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for hearing me out. If you're still here watching me, listening to me, thank you so much for your time. And, and, and please do not forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel if you have liked this video and my story of becoming a cabin crew. Ah. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Bye.